This is a short, short tutorial on how to use the Navigator in LibreOffice Writer. The Navigator uh, is one of the most underutilized features, I think, of any word processing program, but particularly LibreOffice Writer. It's basically a map to your document, and it can be a very powerful feature as it can allow you to jump between different aspects of your document and also tell you what's in your document. So to turn on the navigator, you can hit either F5 or just click this button. And I've got mine docked over here so you can see it over here. Now, I've applied some styles in my document already and I've also inserted a table and some graphics just to illustrate kind of the utility of what this can actually do for you. So what you can see, I've made this heading one and this is done through my styles and you can see my other tutorial on how to actually apply styles. But if you want to see all the headings that you have in here, just click that little arrow next to it and you can see that I've got heading one, I've got heading two, and then I've got a subheading under heading two, which is heading two A. Well, the nice thing about the navigator is you can use it to jump around your document. So if you want to go straight to heading two A, just double click on heading two A and it'll take you right there. Additionally, if you want to modify the status of these, you can actually change this. So right now it's set as heading two A if I wanted to actually make it heading uh, at the same level as heading two or heading one, which is the heading one level, I can actually change that by just hitting it right here, promote a level. So I'm gonna do that and watch what happens over here. It's just gonna pop over. So now heading two A is at the same level as heading two. If I wanna move it back, I can drop it over here and it's now a subheading under heading two. Another thing that you can do, if you wanted to actually move an entire segment of your document, you can actually take this entire heading, so I'm actually going to do it with this one. If I wanted to move heading 1 below heading 2, you can do that right here by just moving the entire section of your document. So I'm going to drop that down, and what you'll see is heading 1 is now below heading 2, or you can move it back up. So now heading 1 is back where it was. Additionally, your navigator will show you anything that you add in here. So you can add frames and graphics and kind of dynamic objects, bookmarks. All of that is shown in here, including comments. All I've added though is tables. And you can actually change the names of these. So if you wanted to actually rename it, you can name your tables right here so you know which one's which. In this case, I'm just gonna click and it'll take me right to whatever table I have in my document. I also inserted a graphic and this one I will show you that you can rename because this one's a smiley face. So I'm going to smiley face, I'm just going to name it smiley face. But the nice thing is I can be anywhere in my document. Say I'm at heading one and then I say, well, what is the graphic that goes with this? And I can jump right down to my smiley face and see what the graphic is. So the navigator is actually a really powerful thing that you can use. It's a powerful tool uh, for navigating in your document and knowing what's in your document. Uh, it just takes a little bit of practice to get used to how to use it, but it can be very, very helpful.